Hello, recently I got a very smart comment so why I shouldn't um, use uh, the newest version of the Wizardist. So I decided to switch uh, from Wizard uh, Artist 4 to version number 5. And now, as you can see, the interface actually didn't change a lot. Um, yeah. Let's check uh, the current version, the latest at, at this moment, of course, uh, the 5.0.1. And as you can see here, looks absolutely the same. And maybe uh, the the greatest uh, changes is here in the century. You c but anyway, you can recognize the classic uh, things like uh, show and hide button, the lock and unlock. Uh, lock and unlock um, against the movement by mouse and of course uh, the default uh, undeletable plugin uh, transformation here you can see all, all of these containers should have this plugin and uh, by the way in the, this version number five you can see two two versions of transformation plugin one is for 2d like uh, trans uh, like box transformation and the second one classic one uh, 3D transformation. So usually you will see this specific one. And uh, new cameras here, it's like a button plus. When you can s click here, you can see the favorites, which we created uh, just recently on the previous videos. And uh, of course you can see, uh, you can, you can uh, look for any plugin maybe more quickly. So maybe we have to get used to uh, this uh, this screen, this window. Okay, anyway, uh, we still have this uh, plugin uh, tab. So if you used to work with this tab, you can use it, of course, as always. And just like, uh, here is like, a, I think, like a shortcut. Uh, to be honest, I don't like it, but anyway, it's like a new experiment uh, from Wizardy. Okay, uh, so in this video, we're gonna actually start uh, working with the playout programs like uh, Vistrio and Vispilot. So let's start um, Vistrio and take, take a look how it will work in our latest Vistrio. I'm gonna to close my artist and open the Vistrio. Okay, this is the uh, newest version of Vistrio, we can check about, and you can see 4.1.0. This is, uh, as far as I know, the latest version of Vistrio at this moment. At this moment. And uh, what you can see here, it's an empty project, and uh, you and I, we have to import our scene. And uh, how we can do this? Uh, if you if you will read the documentation, it will be not obvious, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, and uh, let me give me give you a clue. This small uh, error, bu error button, and you have to find this emperor scene tab. And now we can import it. So uh, first of all, you just have to know uh, the master scene is always. Uh, we we should we shouldn't import the master scene itself. We always import only collapse scenes. Uh, for now, we have only one, the logo. So we just can uh, double click here or click here import. Okay, that's fine. But now we in in this um, uh, engine we can see the preview of this uh, scene, and as you remember, we we have a the logo uh, letters, uh, logo, logo, logo word here as a um, uh, excluding part of our uh, controlling uh, template and controlling uh, collapse scene. Uh, so we will see this lo logo word only on the on the screen in the in V3O. So you won't see this uh, in the production uh, program engine. And what we have to do in terms of uh, uh, starting controlling our lower third scene, uh, we have to open this uh, template and st save it first time, like click here, save as, as and uh, just press button, enter. And now we have first element in our page list and uh, now we can control it. In order to, to test it, uh, of course, it's it's much better to use uh, two with engines. One will be will be the preview engine for your uh, Vistrio, but uh, uh, the second one should be like a different engine. It, sh it 
perfectly it will it should be like a remote one uh, separated with engine on the different uh, computer but for now we in in terms of like uh, presentation uh, we will use this approach so we can just uh, select our element and just uh, click take and uh, this will be working as it should you see take and take out just because I already set up my local host engine as a main and a single one. As you can see, this is local host. Uh, we can also click here uh, on the, the area with the word profile and choose uh, choose correct one or just make a make our new profile. For example, I can make a new one like for tests and uh, I uh, use the localhost 6100, just I can keep the name and uh, define that it, this is uh, the WIS program engine. Okay, that's fine. Click OK. And here we are going to choose, uh, I, I click the right button, right mouse button and choose the test. And as you can see, the connection is good. And now we can use these commands. Also, as an option, you can use the context menu, like here, uh, right, uh, uh, right mouse button, and you can use the, the function direct take, continue, or out. Like out, take. Out, and take. That's good. So, uh, let's take a look how it will be in vSpilot. In order to make this video shorter, I ran uh, three programs at the same moment uh, uh, in advance. And uh, this is uh, the director itself, uh, template wizard to making the templates. And of course, uh, to test them, uh, I need to run uh, with engine or with artist in on-air mode. So, okay, so we can start from like director. Probably you will see nothing here and uh, here also will be pretty empty. Uh, so what to do? Uh, we can run a template wizard. I already did it. And here, uh, first of all, uh, so in order to make a new template, you can click quickly this uh, button, like generate template from the scene. This is a kind of a wizard, which helps us to make the templates automatically and very easily so we we have we as as the same thing uh, for this trio here we also we have to choose only the collapse scene not the master scene only collab only controlling scene so in this case uh, you will see this um, selected scene in this list and we can click next that's okay uh, this interface uh, will show you that everything is fine and uh, let me show you the difference. Actually, before I continue, let me just switch the with artist uh, from on air mode to like a normal one. And let's check the difference. I will try to do the same generate template from scene, choose the logo, click next. And if you if you see this interface, be aware, it's a wrong one. And uh, also if you click finish, you also you will see this interface the old one is like uh, from it's looking like uh, this with artist uh, version 2.8 so this is pretty dangerous so be aware please don't do this so let's just close it and do this again on air and only if the engine is on air uh, when let's click again the import click double click on the logo Collapsing, and you can see here the big difference. As you can see here, it's a different interface. So this is correct one with the table. Yep, and you can see here nothing uh, designed in uh, in old style, and uh, and underneath you can see this is a description of this uh, lower thirds element. Uh, so here nothing. Uh, because uh, in our collapse scene we don't have any control plugins. So just for our convenience, let's add some 
text. Don't forget to increase the font size. and decrease the original size as much as possible. Just don't keep this huge, uh, the canvas of these templates. Please don't do this. It looks very inconvenient. It looks maybe okay, but uh, it's turned out that it's very un inconvenient for using in real production. So, and you, now we can just save it as a new template. And for this, I'm going to create a new concept. It's like a like a folder, but of course it doesn't work as like a folder. It's uh, it's uh, it's working like more uh, like a text. It's because you can you can put your template in several concepts at the same time, so it will be the same the same uh, template, but uh, laying in in the several concept but I prefer to consider concepts uh, especially uh, you know, if you don't have any complex uh, uh, graphics and uh, just as a folder so I'm going to make a folder like uh, okay uh, lower turrets oh not tower <laughs> lower okay save it and let's make a new name so um also, if you already have a logo, uh, a logo template name in, in somewhere else, in like in one of the concept. So, for example, if we already have the concepts uh, inside here in this concept, you won't be able to create a new template with the same name. So, in this, in this, in this situation, I prefer always have some prefix uh, for each uh, uh, element. For, for each template for in this terms like like let's start let's use uh shorthand from tl or lower, lower lt i mean uh log with lower thirds logo so that's fine and for every program for every uh, concept i prefer to use kind of uh, prefix in order to avoid the uh, name conflict name conflicts and save as new yeah so um Please don't touch the live update. It's a very old um, functionality, and you will see this awareness. Uh, like, please don't use it. Like, just save as new, and that's it. Now we can go to the uh, Wisp uh, Pilot or Wisp Director. I prefer to use Wisp Pilot. Sorry. So, uh, and uh, as you can see here, we don't have this um, new concept what we just created. And uh, what we can do, first of all, uh, of course, uh, it's pretty obvious, we can just reload, restart this program, but I, I know the, the easiest one, the easiest way to fix this problem, just uh, right click uh, on the concept, um, select item, select uh, menu, and you will find the button refresh. And now it's enough to see our new concept in the list. Okay, so uh, double click. And as you can see, it's a pretty yeah, modest uh, template, nothing else here. But if you saved it in the long, with the long uh, canvas, you will see like this. And it's, yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty in inconvenient, especially when you, when you need to open it's many, many, uh, when, you, when you need to open many um, templates at the same time and everything can be o overlapped each other so it's very inconvenient for the operators so um so let's start uh, testing it so i'm going to open the uh, this engine it should be like a like a program uh, here the story is the same as a uh, with trio yes uh, you can also define your own actually if you have the same <laughs> i already created it you see the test comes from the absolutely the same a database we, uh, which we used uh, in Vistrio because we use uh, MSE, the same uh, media sequencer engine. And uh, when I created this, it was created also for the every uh, playout program uh, connected to this the same MSE. So uh, as you can see, you can also do the same, create a new profile, uh, put the Viz engine here and define it as a Viz program. So that's it. 
um, yeah, you see this, everything is working. So errors, please, <laughs> gone. And let's click start and take a look. Is it working? Yes. First time, uh, this scene you will see in incorrect uh, maybe position, be probably because the scene itself was cr was saved in an at not the zero position. We will check this. Okay, let's check take out, start. Yeah, as you can see, everything is working. So here we can st we can use we can use the template itself to test it without saving um, these templates in into the data element. So, but anyway, let's start to do this. Uh, save the template. Um, okay logo and you will see this element here in the second tab uh, so for that i'm going to create a new playlist let me create uh, delete the previous one and let's create a new one a new template uh, oh sorry no new new playlist and okay and here we can put this element here and play with this take out and take yes that's working so in order to check how we saved the, the master scene, I have to clean up uh, the render and go to the with artist. Let's do this. Open the default and check the master scene. Go to the stage, sorry, and uh, check in, in what position we saved this scene. As you can see, uh, the playhead of the logo uh, director placed the specifically on the in position so in order to avoid this um, nasty moment uh, in on air we have to put all of our playheads of all of these um, directors specifically on the zero position so in order to make uh, your scene safe you have to keep in mind uh, that all of these uh, playheads should be stay on the zero position so uh, for this version, actually, I don't see the button which is represented all uh, all directors. Uh, so maybe next I will find uh, this functionality. I do remember uh, in the previous version it it was here. Um, anyway, okay. So uh, to make it safe, uh, we will consider some ways to avoid uh, this um, dangerous thing. Uh, just how to avoid this saving since in the zero position i will suggest a couple solutions for that maybe in the next videos but for now i think that's good to have uh, an experiment how to import our scenes in vstrio and in vspilot so let's see you in the next video bye bye